Picasso, right? I showed the dark crystal to my brother. It was his first time seeing it. And I found, though the dialogue and a lot of the elements were clearly 80s, it still held up, as did the special effects. I was wondering, if they ever do a remake, do you think that they would use motion capture, CGI, or puppets like in the original? Which would you prefer and why? First of all, God bless you for introducing people to the Dark Crystal. This movie is so good. The Skeksis are still some of my favorite film villains ever with sure. the Chamberlain and stuff like like uh, that, they're just that was good. so wasn't that? <laughs> that was good, huh? They are so great and then the the ancient ones and all that kind of, and then the whole mythology when one dies the other one dies. I mean it's just it's done so well and it's so charming because it was done by the Henson Company and it's mm. it's made with all Muppets and stuff like that. It's very, very cool that way. They have been trying actually for years to get a sequel off the ground. They they've got they had scripts, they got storyboards. Actually, they even put out some concept art. If we got that um, where they had this piece of concept art where this is Kira actually from the original film, and now she's like the Empress of the land, and it's like mm -hmm. hundreds of years later, I'm assuming Jen has died at some point, and a new adventure was gonna start, and they put that image out, and this was like three years ago that this picture came out, and I lost my mind with excitement, but they just can't get it going, and it's staggered and staggered and staggered, and and then all of a sudden projects like Fraggle Rock get you know prioritized over it and stuff like that, which I'm really disappointed about. If they were to do it, Again, to get a new one going, I have no doubt of two things. Number one, they would absolutely heavily, because they're the Henson Company, they're going to heavily rely on puppets. Mm -hmm. They're absolutely going to do that. But because it is no longer 1986, or, or I believe that's the year it came out, they're also going to utilize some CGI, but I think the characters themselves will probably be Muppets if they ever get around to doing it again. Shep, have you heard any more about it, and how would you like it to be done? Yeah, I've been lucky enough. I've been working on a project with the Henson Company, and so I've been there, and... Um, they've got a lot of advances going on with puppetry right now. So their creature shop, they do a lot of uh, combination work now with where the puppeteers are actually moving and manipulating computer graphics, um, you know, creatures, but with puppet devices. So mm. I would see uh, the Dark Crystals being a true synthesis of like pu puppeteering, animatronics, and CG. So, you know, and I think they will eventually do a Dark Crystal sequel. They want to, they've got it going. They just need to get the finances, so... I'd love to see a Dark Crystal movie. You know who's actually a big fan of Dark Crystal, which would, I, blew my mind, was Joe Manganiello. Really? He's like a huge Dark Crystal fan. Um, I'd like to see, like, it would be interesting to see whether it be a guy like that or an Andy Serkis involved in performance capture with that movie and using Muppets and everything, yeah. too, because that movie calls for an epic scale film as well, too. What you yeah. can do, a really great fantasy film. I would love to see that. And, you know, it's funny that you mentioned, oh, you know, and then Fraggle Rock kind of took priority. Why? Why would Fraggle Rock <laughs> take priority over the Dark Crystal? I mean, to me, the Dark Crystal is screaming for a sequel. I don't need a remake. I need right. a sequel to that yeah. movie. I love the idea of it taking place 100 years later because what that would force people to do is when that epic new movie comes out, they go, well, what's the origin of that character that I love? Then you go back and introduce people to what happened in 1986 yeah. and how that all went down. So it's a combination of doing the stuff with the new technology today and then making people go watch the old stuff. Kind of what Tron kind of failed at a little mm, bit. You good, know? good point. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I, I would love to see that. Yeah. 